welcome. Uh, we're going to start the mouse today. So um, we're going to, in this episode, make the wire armature. Um, if you're new to needle felting or new to my video series, I recommend you go back to see the instructional episodes because I cover a lot of technique in those um, in a lot of detail that I won't during the mouse series, particularly um, wrapping the little, the tiny fingers. So if you go to SarafinaFiberArt.com and go to the video page, you will see a breakdown of all the videos there and I've linked each title to the video so it's real easy to, to find what you need. Um, you can use your own supplies, but if you uh, need some supplies, this video series will work in conjunction with um, mouse supply pack that's available in our Etsy shop. It has everything you need to make two mice, one tan mouse and one gray mouse. Um, so that's in the Etsy shop and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is make our armature. I'm going to open my, I'm going to work from the supply pack so you guys can see me work with if you bought this, um, exactly what you're getting. And in here is some wire. So each mouse gets two of the 22 gauge wires, which you'll feel are a little thicker, and one of the 26 gauge wire, and one pipe cleaner. 26 gauge wire you will need to cut in half because a half of this wire makes each little hand. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is bend a 22 gauge wire in half and this is going to become the mouse's head and neck and front legs. This is where it's really helpful to watch the small armature um, video. It's actually the first first one that I did. And we want this to be about two plus inches. Um, it's going to be his head and neck. And actually one thing that I've been doing that I feel like works really well to create the face is bending this down to as if this were his teeth um, and it kind of makes that nice real mousy shape because they do have for little guys two front teeth just like the rabbits and beavers and stuff um, but for now I'll leave it straight because we got to wrap it first so anyway that's about two inches plus a little I'd say and this mouse is you know you can see it's definitely <laughs> at least twice the size of a real mouse. If you want to try to make it even smaller, um, of course you can do that, but it's just the smaller you go, the really the harder it is to work. The second piece gets folded um, in half just to locate the center and then open it back up into a V. And we place that at the base of the neck, just putting it from the front back. And then I'm going to twist together the long side and the short side. And I want to do it two full times around. So get the long side back to where it was, that's one time, and then do it again, that's two times. This is going to become his back and hind legs, and this will be his front leg. So we need to do the other side. Now we're going to bring these two pieces together. Just have them come together comfortably. You don't want to squeeze this because this is the this is creates the width of his chest. So you don't need to squeeze that closed. Just let these two wires come together where they will and come on back. This is the length of his back is probably not about three inches. And then we want to bend 
behind legs. And I do that by going forward softly to create his little kind of thigh area. And then it gets a sharp backwards bend. Um, this is really actually the back of his foot. We do each side. Try to get him even. And then I'm going to bend the toe around to create his little foot. And you can kind of leave um, an open sort of curl there because that will give his foot a little bit of width. We're not going to do toes on the back feet, so that kind of gives the illusion of his toes being there. And do the other side. Okay. So his front arms are, are too long. They're going to need to be cut. But we need to give him an elbow, which is about an inch down. And then determine where his hands will be. Um, he is going to get fingers, so that's additional length. So when you make this cut and turn this end of the wire, think of that as the palm of his hand. So I'm going to go a little farther than an inch because I've got to turn this wire back. Okay, and so now I'm going to take the pliers and do the same thing I did to the hind feet. And turn this back around on itself, leaving a little open loop because that's where uh, but we're going to weave the 26 gauge wire to make the fingers. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go through wrapping the toes um, process one time. Um, but as I said earlier, going back to watch the I think we called it tiny toes or um, that episode where I, I cover this in a lot of detail. Starting on the forearm, I'm going to take my 26 gauge wire and just wrap down. And then what I want to do is begin to build the toes. The first time I need to feed it through the center. So this little loop at the end of his hand acts as, if you will, the, like the palm of the hand. And then we're going to wrap toes that come off this. And so it, Right now I've got his, this which would be his pinky, coming off of this loop. And I'm going to make it about a quarter of an inch long. It's got to be long enough for you to wrap wool around, um, but not so long that it looks ridiculous. So this is, you know, this is one of those things you're going to do the first time and probably be like, ah, oh, this isn't as good as I'd like it to be. But then you do it the second time and you'll get it. And so now I'm back in the center of the palm of his hand, and I'm just going to do that again. I'm going to determine how long it should be, and then I'm going to take the end of the wire and put it through the center of the palm. And this technique really creates an armature that functions and works. These little toes, if you bend them, you know, and, and, and play with them, they're not going to fall off. They are integrated into the armature. So that's three. And I just do four. Um, honestly, I don't know how many toes mice have, but I do four. Okay, and then now I want to take this and wrap up the arm a little bit the same direction that I wrapped down just helps your wool go on smoother and then I cut the extra off and then you can take your pliers and grab the toes 
and give them a twist. All right, let me see which way it wants to go here. Spin them around so those two, two wires are stuck together. Or, yeah, like married together in little... And then the last thing you need to do to your armature, aside from the other hand, is take your pipe cleaner and just starting on the body, wrap towards the butt, and just let it stick off. And your mouse can have a super long tail if you want, but generally this needs to be cut somewhere. So you cut it. And then just make sure you fold the tip of the tail back so that you don't have a pointy end sticking out at you. So off camera, I'm going to do my other hand. Okay, so our armature is uh, ready to go and we can start adding wool. So heat up your beeswax if you have it. Just <laughs> if you want to do the fingers, um, the beeswax is really helpful. It does not come in the kit, um, but we do, we do sell it in the shop. And you could make the mouse without the fingers, and you could just turn his front hand um, like we did the feet and just have them, you know, as little, little mouse paw kind of things. So I'll see you next time.